when just one of a good thing isn't good enough. I want more. More! More! Guys, can you please keep it down on the front? And we'll find out if more screens, thanks to the Trio Max, is really tech I want. Today we're out of the studio and we've lost Dan. And it's because someone forgot to click the subscribe button last week. Do us all a favor and remember to like and subscribe. I brought my trusty laptop with me to a trendy cafe, ordered a far too expensive cappuccino, and I've started searching for memes like we all do while staring at people and pretending to work. Getting tired of working at home, I've left my motivational posters and dual monitors behind for a little bit of a change of scenery but I'm so much less productive with just the one screen. Today's crowdfunding innovation aims to tackle one of those issues, promising to keep you 20 to 30% more effective than when you're just sat down with your laptop alone. We reached out and contacted the team at Mobile Pixels and got our hands on their latest portable screen, which raised a whopping $1.5 million to see just how practical, easy, and effective their product really is. So sit down, grab your coffee, and join us as we examine the Trio Max portable monitor in our Tech I Want field test. Dude, please. Right, sorry, one last thing, one last thing. One last thing. Now, let's check out the Trio Max. Ah, thank you. The Trio Max I ordered, it's kind of hard working in this uh, small space, but alas, that is the whole purpose, the whole point behind the Trio Max. Um, looking at the packaging, it's sweet, it's cool, simple, white, uh, very clean. And, but I think what we're all waiting for is to see what's actually inside. So let me pull that out for you guys. We have a nice installation guide conveniently put on the top of the box. Now, first things first, I could say that this is fairly lightweight. Uh, it's not too heavy, but it's also not too lightweight. It's somewhere in the middle, definitely lighter than my laptop itself, but it almost feels something close to what a tablet might feel like. Uh, along with the product itself, we have, of course, the user guide, this very eye-catching warning symbol that also tells me where I can download the driver from before I use the product. We have multiple magnets, and this is gonna be placed on the laptop as well as on the Trio, and that's what's gonna be used to connect the two devices together. And then once they're connected physically, we connect them with a USB cable, which is going to be the means for transferring uh, information, data, and power. There is the Trio Max itself. Again, here are those magnets. So we just use the other magnets on the laptop. It's got this very simple look. I, I, it's hard. I feel like I'm looking at just a slate right here and that there is no technology. It's very well hidden inside of the, the carrying case. Right, okay, so it's kind of smoothly pulls out and you can't see it there. That's the backside. I have the monitor on this side over here. There's a hinge which allows me to be able to move the monitor. It does everything. Uh, I mean, everything as promised. It's got a little bit of a kind of a flimsy feel to it, but that's mostly coming in on, on this side, which I imagine will be secured when it's attached to the laptop. So it's exciting. Uh, let's give this thing a try. So I'm gonna put the magnets on. Whoop. And it's simple. Just place the magnets that are given onto the back of the screen here. You can see there's the adhesive that we'll have to remove. Okay, one of the things that I, I know that I have to be careful about is making sure that there's enough room for it to hinge. Now it kind of it just slid a little bit, so it's not it's not totally secure, but I think that's just down to the strength of the magnets themselves. It's still no problem. I have the actual frame itself sitting on the on the tabletop. So it's not too much pressure. There we go. Nice. That's part one of setup. Now to install the driver, something that must be done before I plug it in. 
Uh, I understand it's a very important step, and it seems like it's fairly easy with this screaming yellow sign that says scan the QR code or visit the link. While the screen is 1080p high resolution, as well as having brightness adjustable components, and has a monitor that has very minimal power draw at 4.5 watts, the main advantage of the Trio is the price when compared to the weight. And not just that, but also just its practicality for moments just like this one right here. I'm sitting at a very small table with very minimal surface area that I have to work with. I'm, it's already taken over by all the paperwork and whatnot, coffee, and you can only imagine what else. What the Trio does is it allows me to keep that surface area open for whatever I wanna do, and at the same time, still get the benefit of having that second screen. Unfortunately, users have complained about the magnets uh, losing their strength over time and not being able to sufficiently hold the screens. So just show extra care when you're doing this step to make sure that the magnets are attached properly. The screen itself, it is a little bit wobbly. Uh, and I think that's just because of the, the weight of the product and where it's attached on the computer monitor. All that means, it doesn't seem like it's dangerous or anything or that it's gonna fall apart. It just means that it's something that I have to be aware of whenever I'm using it. It also feels a little bit plasticky, a little bit flimsy. Also, when attaching it, hopefully your computer is like mine and it draws power and has USB cables from the side of your computer. If you are having it from the back over here, some people have said that that also kind of changes the way that Trio Max sits on their screen. And so, it, actually has a little bit of a tilt and really no one wants that. Now the screen can be positioned exactly how I have it, which is at like 180 degrees, or it can do a full rotation and show 270 degrees, which is perfect for when you have to show someone else your monitor, do a screen share, or you're presenting at a meeting. Uh, let me turn this back around just to make it so that you cannot see that there's actually nothing on my screen right now. I'd also, because of how it's attached and the strength of the magnets and kind of how a little bit flimsy it is, I'd also be a little bit hesitant about taking this outside. Inside, you know, in this controlled environment, it's perfect, it's great, there's nothing to worry about. But I, I worry that if the wind were to pick up, it would just catch me on this new wind sail that I've attached to my laptop and just whoosh, fly me off somewhere. Or if I were to have it on a bumpy car ride, I'd also be a little bit hesitant. Now, when it comes to maximizing a small space though, this is where the Trio really shines. There's only a small surface area on my desk that I have here, and the additional screen just simply hovers above it all. In terms of mobility, you gotta be a little bit, it's a little risky. I mean, you, you, gotta, be, you gotta be careful because there's a lot of weight that comes off of the laptop and it's brought over here. So just make sure that you're securing the actual screen itself whenever you're moving this thing. I would be a little bit hesitant myself to take it off the table and put it on my lap. Instead, I would probably just take it apart and move it around at that time. And as one last feature, the screen can be set up in portrait mode, adding to the versatility of uses. And it's a perfect place for that motivational poster that I left back at home. With an initial Indiegogo campaign that raised $1.6 million, had 4.5 thousand backers, and with now more than 4.1 star rating on Amazon, it seems as though the Trio Max has lived up to the expectations. But as with everything, it's not all rainbows and kittens. We've also seen some negative reviews of people complaining about two screens just being just too heavy issues with lag and poor connectivity, while some followers say that $300 is just too much for a screen with those specs. For those out there who often find themselves in a situation kind of really just like this one, the portability of the Trio Max is a massive selling point. I also wanna talk a little bit about the Trio Max team and its developers, which are Mobile Pixel consisting of three founders who collectively boast 13 plus years of experience in product development, manufacturing, supply chain optimization, and marketing, and bring with them experience from Amazon, GE, and Oracle, to name just a few. Their first campaign was backed by an MIT incubator, and since then, they've developed a good reputation having successfully delivered on two additional campaigns. I feel pretty confident about the product 
backing it and knowing that I'm gonna get what I want. In conclusion, if you're a coder, creator, business person, or just someone who wants to improve productivity, this is for you. Aside from the obvious benefits of increased portability, the fact that the screen can rotate a full 270 degrees makes screen sharing during meetings a breeze. And at around $250 for one monitor and $535 for two, they are in the middle of the non-touch screen market. Now, of course, you can find monitors for cheaper, but the competition for just click on screen is pretty sparse. So for the person who needs flexibility and a setup which optimizes screen real estate while taking less surface area, you should really consider the Trio Max. You can find the link to our detailed written review below. And remember, backing is not buying, backing is investing. There's always risk involved and that's the exciting part. Now, thanks for watching and remember to subscribe to our channel if you'd like to see more of this ugly mug again, and read the Tech I Want newsletter for more in-depth tech reviews by struggling English major. And until next time, I'm out.